Hello everybody, Lord Almighty here. Today is Saturday, May 4th, 2024, and I am back here at the Raritan River looking for smallmouths. I mean, no surprise, right? You know I had to come back after the day I had here last weekend. Um, but instead of really focusing on bedfish like I wound up doing last time, I'm just gonna go fishing. Um, I'm just gonna toss around some plastics um, and we'll see, uh, we'll see what these fish want today. If I see any bedding fish, I'll probably go after them, but mainly I'm just casting and winding today. I'm gonna start out with the little tube jig and we'll see what wants it. There we go. There's a small mouth. Not big, but a good start. Alrighty. Well, I was getting snagged a lot with that uh, tube jig, so I switched over to the Kitex swim bait so I can keep it off the bottom. The water's kind of low, so this might be a day where the river will just eat everything that you bounce along the bottom. There we go, fish on. Another smallie, another one that's not that big. Not big, but I will take the action. Well guys, it has started to rain a little bit. Not too heavy, but enough to make me want to grab a uh, grab a rain jacket so we'll see if that does anything to the bite since it's not a heavy rain I don't think it'll matter too much but I don't know could be good could be bad you never know what the weather oh fish on I was reeling it in to make another cast. That's a smallie. He hit it at the very tail end of the pool. All right. Oops. Come on up here, buddy. Switch back over to that little tube jig since this hole isn't quite as snaggy. And we got another little small mouth on the board. Remember what I said about this hole not being as snaggy? There's still a few snags. Let's see if I can get this one out. There we go, got it. There we go. That was a pretty savage strike. I haven't been getting many hits, but the ones I've been getting have been no doubt about it. Alrighty, another little small mouth. Definitely felt bigger when he hit. Thought I might have had another Rarit and River Lunker, but nope, just one of these guys. Well guys, this spot was kind of a dud. Uh, didn't get shut out, but four little small mouths in about two hours is definitely subpar for this place. But uh, I'm not giving up yet. I got more water to fish, so sit tight and I will see you in a couple of seconds.
All right, everybody, here we are, spot number two. I am going to start by slow rolling the swim bait along the bottom, because I have a feeling that that's where most of the fish are gonna be today. We're actually in the middle of a cold front. On Thursday, in certain parts of New Jersey, it got up to 90 degrees, and yesterday and today, it was in the 50s. So definitely a big temperature swing. Maybe he's got these fish in a funk, and if they are, they're probably gonna be hugging the bottom. Not gonna be moving too much. So I think low and slow might be the name of the game today. Oh. Didn't even start reeling yet, and he got it. Not a bad one either. Hit it onto the drop. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Nice chunky one. Looks like a pre spawner. Beautiful. All right. There we go. That feels like a decent fish. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a very nice small mouth. Don't know quite how big. He's definitely a teener. Don't know whether he's mid-teens or high-teens. Yeah, he looks like mid-teens. Maybe 15, 16. Good fish though, I'll take them. Definitely fish of the day so far. Come on up here, buddy. There we go, swam right in the net. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, that's probably about, that's probably about a 15. Maybe 15 and a half, but solid fish. Put up a great fight too. Took my swim bait, but even trade. Back you go. There he goes, wow. He was not waiting around. All right guys, well, I got kind of a crazy idea. I worked through this hole and I got those two smallies, which is fine. Um, but I got a feeling that there's more in here. So I'm gonna work back through this hole and I'm gonna use a buzz bait. Now, I know I said earlier that these fish might be in a funk because of the cold front. And if that's the case, a buzz bait should be the last thing I should be using. But call it a gut feeling. You know, your gut tells you you gotta do something. My gut's telling me I gotta try this. So, it might not work. In fact, it probably won't work. But if it does work, it sure will be fun, won't it? All right, well, I gave it about 20 minutes with the buzz bait and nothing. So, looks like that was a bad idea. But I don't know, I wanted to try it. I think I would have been bothered if I hadn't at least tried it today. So, Gonna switch back to the swim bait on which the bite has not been spectacular, but it has at least been consistent. Well guys, now even the swim bait bite is dead and the rain has picked up again. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. It was uh, kind of a, oh man, the words stick in my mouth, a grind today. 
that's all I've been doing for all of late winter early spring but that's kind of what it is and it's certainly not going to be the last time I have to grind out a catch on this river but at least I caught something and at least I've got a little bit of momentum going into the next warm front which should see some more fish coming up shallow and uh, who knows maybe next time I come here I can tie into another big girl that kind of hope is what always keeps me coming back Thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you on the next adventure.